Hey, it's Crazy Dave. Dressing the shirt. This is my home shirt. I'll be wearing this a lot. You know, I don't wear it out anymore. So, um, you might see it in a lot of videos. But uh, how do you know when you can love? Simple answer is when you're secure within yourself and you're able to express yourself freely and you are able to address your flaws. All right? I've been in two relationships. One was forbidden. I'm oh, sorry. One was forbidden and should have never happened. I went against my gut. And it happened, and I paid dearly for that. It took me to, you know, but I learned a lot from it. I learned a lot from it about myself. And the second one was a phenomenal relationship, but I had some insecurities. All right, I had some insecurities that I had to deal with. The second one I got closure from. The first one I never did. All right, so the second one. I am still in contact with this. I'm still in, I'm still in contact with this person, you know, and I can talk to her about anything because we're friends, you know, we're friends now. We both broke it off and we're friends. So, uh, but through those two relationships, I learned all my flaws, and I've worked on them. I'm getting to the point to where I'm very secure within myself, and I know who I am. I know now not to give in. If my gut says no, listen to your gut. You know, always listen to your gut. There's a lot of people that don't listen to their guts, and there's a lot of people that don't look inward and try to fix what their flaws are. They usually will. Oh, if they get into a relationship and they blame them. Oh, well, it's a woman's fault. Blah 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 blah. Well, in rare cases, if they're an abuser and if they're just all about them, then yeah. But something led you into that relationship in the first place. You know, if you if you fell in love with an abuser, something led you into that relationship. So you still need to work on yourself regardless, you know. So there's always a lot of inner work that has to be done, a lot of inner healing, whether you pray to God or whatever, you know. You have to be able to address your flaws. Once you're able to address your flaws and fix them individually and find a way to fix them and understand them, then the right person will come, you know. I'm still holding out hope that the right person will come. But at the same time, I'm always helping others because I've been through a lot, you know. Um, so when you know you're ready is when you're secure within yourself and you know who you are and the person you fall in love with will respect you for who you are and you respect them for who they are and it won't feel like – they'll feel like your best friend, you know. But, you know, you're able to talk openly about however you feel. That's true love, and they'll respect that, and you respect them. So um, that's how you know when you're ready to love again, you know, because you got to think about it. A lot of people that get in relationships uh, fall for the wrong people, and that's because that's insecurity with it. <coughs> Sorry about that, but uh, that's because it's insecurity within them. So, all right. Well, love you guys very much. Just Crazy Dave signing out. Probably going to put up this video and then put up a drum video somehow. All right, love you. Bye-bye.